Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, since I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon, I, I thought I would do a, a top 10 list. And of course, this has something to do with the fact that I enjoy torturing myself with bad cinema. Which means, top 10 worst, folks. That's what I'm aiming for today. And, yeah. <clears throat> so, to be more specific, folks, it's, it's going to be in the animation department. To make it on this list, it has to be actually bad, obviously. So, this could be from any year, any era of Disney, and from any director. And this list would not be in any specific order because all these films are all bad somehow. So, yeah. With that being said, let's just get into it, shall we? And get over with. on these trio of cows and they want to do the right thing. There's nothing really imaginative about this. It's one of those western type of animated flicks and the humor is pretty bad. The overall a really poorly constructed film as a whole that lacks the imagination that Disney is known for. So yeah definitely skip this one. Ah Mr. Monkey how many times do I have to tell you I'm not gonna buy you any of these bad movies, just no. Be <laughs> little America number nine. That's part focused on about this little sissy chicken kid who's saying the sky is falling and whatnot. Who cares? The story is uninteresting, uninspiring, and this CGI mess does not look that well, really, because of better CGI animated features that was released by the same company. So, this was just really poorly written. Oh boy, folks, I already want to do something else. Mr. Monkey! God. Center around that she has to take care of these young women, and that's about it. And something about a marriage, or I don't, I don't know, I didn't care enough. So the animation seemed like a downgrade from the original, and like it just came off like no one cared about the plot nor characters because there seems to be a severe lack of it. All right, Mr. Monkey. You keep bothering me. What do you have to say for yourself before I smack you with a shoe? centers around Beauty and Beast doing something together during a specific time period and that's about it. So yeah, there's no thrills, there's nothing exciting, no fun, just a poor excuse to make a sequel. These characters, that's about it. I'm still not going to give you any of these movies. Six is Bell's Magical Word. 
Again, there's barely a plot here. If anything, he's supposed to teach kids about forgiveness or something. Then mix match this with some music. I don't know what's going on in this movie. It looks like they just made a cheaply made sequel and just put it together and just here you go. And by the way, this was supposed to be intended for a TV series that never happened. Man, you are really annoying. Yeah, turn around, turn around, face that way. Don't even look at me. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. And number five, you have a movie that's about this small town plane who dreams of one day competing as a high-flying air racer. Because reasons, I guess. It's an underdog story, I guess. So yeah, it's not very original. It's not very compelling. It's not very creative. It's pretty boring, actually. And yeah, let's say skip this one, folks. Yep. Four Star Wars: The Clone Wars, the animated movie. Once again, uh, having a film that doesn't really have much of a plot to speak of. So we get to see that the Jedi characters have to take care of Jabba's the Hutt son or something, and then something about Ahsoka, I really don't care. This film really has a really poor excuse of fighting. So much fighting for no reason. It and number three is Mars Needs Moms, which focuses on the son whom has to rescue his mother from these Martians. And that's about it. So basically, like the vast majority of these movies I mentioned, this one has a paper thin story, if you want to call it that. And this CGI is hideous to look at. Oh boy, it's so ugly. There's not much to say about the story other than it's the three much tears and it's just with these characters. But just poorly executed and the overall art design for this is not really pleasant to look at and it's pretty boring throughout really. So not much to say about this one other than saying it sucks. group of pigeons who must survive the regime of this thing, of this place during World War II. And that's about it. So, yeah, not very interesting. Now the art design is pretty bland, I guess. And I really didn't like it. I did not catch my interest at all throughout the entire movie, folks. Well, that was painful. And Mr. Monkey, how many times did I tell you? No. Go, yeah. It's just go and leave earlier. Yeah. Of course, there's plenty of others I didn't mention. But I guess I could always talk about them some other time, I suppose. So anyway, folks, as always, thanks for watching. And take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh, yeah.